Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again, DFishMan76. What we're gonna do is, uh, most of you seen my, uh, my big chicken uh, water that I turned into a beef feeder. Uh, I'm guessing a majority of y'all is not gonna pull the trigger on about going out and spend $30, $40 on a chicken water and make a beef feeder right out. So, I've got something else you can do. Peanut butter jar. Uh, this is just a regular Jif peanut butter jar. You can use anything that's got a good watertight seal. Uh, I need to clean the lid a little bit better on that one. But uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to turn this little jar into a beef feeder. Uh, you can use anything that's close to this. Uh, the reason why I use peanut butter jars is you know they're kind of symmetrical. Uh, like a mayonnaise jar, it gets a little big at the top and they get a little wobbly. Now you can use those if that's all you've got. You can even use a mason jar and we'll do a video on that uh, maybe next time. Uh, but we're going to show you how to use a peanut butter jar and turn it into a beef feeder. So stick around. I'll show you how to do it. So what we got to do is uh, when you do this, you want to keep your holes actually in this little jiff line. Because what you're going to do ultimately is when you go to use this as a feeder is you can use uh, bricks or sticks, anything flat, and you're going to actually uh, set it down on the sticks. So it'll pretty much be sitting on the sticks like this, so it'll be open at the bottom. Now when I cut to another video, it'll be an older video that I did where I've actually did this. Uh, so you can actually see the setup that I did and uh, how the bees feed off of it. But it's pretty simple. This is uh, the smallest drill bit that I have. It is tiny. I think it's a 1 16th or something like that. And all you're gonna do is be very careful with this and drill holes in it. Need to speed it up. But that's all you're gonna do. Just drill a bunch of random little holes. As you can see, we got the holes drilled. That spacing's about right. You could do them a little further apart or a little closer together. But uh, I'm gonna finish drilling these out and then when I get through, I'll show you back where we're at. There we go. And you can see on that side how it looks. I cleaned it. Well, I had the camera cut off, but that's all you got to do to it. Now all you got to do is put your sugar water in here, put your top on. When you turn it upside down, it actually pulls the suction. And with that suction there, it actually leaves little water droplets on the bottom of here. And the bees will come up, stick their little tongues in there and actually get the sugar water. Now you can make as many of these as you want to, depending upon uh, how much y'all love peanut butter. Uh, back in the day, when I first started beekeeping, I had some of these and I think I had four or five of these made. And uh, that was my pr primary way of feeding bees when I first started out. So there you go. So what we're gonna do now is cut over to one of my older videos. Try not to laugh, but it's kind of cloudy looking. And to tell you the truth, I don't even remember what I was using to uh, do the video, but it, the video quality kind of sucks. But anyway, there you go. So. Share this with your people if you want to, uh, you know, help the bees out. Winter time, two to one, two parts sugar, one part water. In the summertime, it's one to one. Uh, but I don't recommend feeding during the summertime just because you could be messing with a local beekeeper's honey. So, there you go. We'll cut to the other video and we'll probably come back. To <clears throat> the Fish Man 76. I just want you to look at all the bees there is out here around these fingers. All these are is little peanut butter jars. And I drilled some small holes in the, uh, in the lid, smallest drill bit that you can get. To poke, you know, whatever how many holes you want to do in it, you can do as little as two or three, or you can just feel the top of it slam full of holes. 
But I filled these up yesterday for around, I'd say 2.30, 3 o'clock. And all four of them are empty. I just put this one up here. I didn't even drill holes in the lid on that one. But uh, I guarantee you, by the way, the bees are flying around here. This one right here will be empty in probably an hour and a half, two hours. But uh, this is amazing at all the bees. This is the one I just took out and took the top off of it. And this is an empty container. I told you the video quality was kind of bad on that. But anyway, you seen how the bees feed on it. Uh, like I said, when you seen in the thing, you're going to set it up on the sticks where you got your sticks up under the edges of it right here. Like I said, you can use, uh, those are tobacco sticks, which are kind of hard to come by. And most people, I would say, doesn't even know what a tobacco stick is. But anyway, you can use those bricks, cinder blocks, uh, whatever else you can dream up of, whatever you can. But the main thing you want to do is make sure you don't put it over your holes because what it does is uh, it'll leak. So when you do this, make sure that your uh, support pieces are actually right here. You don't want them on your holes. So there you go. Simple, easy way to feed your honeybees. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you on the next one.